What's going on guys? It's Patrick Longley, your favorite Oahu realtor. And today we're gonna spotlight one of my favorite neighborhoods in the neighborhood I actually live in, Kailua. So stick around to get all the details. See you on the other side. Now Kailua was once a sleepy beachy town in the 1940s and 1950s. Again, the military kind of moved in during World War II and we started to see more of the military community come in here. And now in 2023, it is completely blown up as an amazing tourist attraction because of the beautiful beaches that are some of the top 10 in the world, as well as a lot of the amazing local restaurants. And this beautiful neighborhood really has a lot of charm and we're actually gonna check out some of those restaurants later today. Now, one of the things I absolutely love about Kailua is the walkability score. I mean, just right here where we are, there's a UFC gym that I go to myself right there, a Whole Foods if you need to pick up some food, some great Mexican food, a bunch of boutique shops, and actually one of my favorite spots, Nalu, which we're gonna go grab some lunch and check out right now. Let's check it out. Okay guys, now another beautiful part about Kailua, obviously we have the walkability score, you've got tons of boutique shops, but you also have tons of great eats. We checked out Nalu. If you want some killer pizza, you guys gotta check out Valentina's Pizza. And actually, she's here, so we're gonna talk to her real quick. Okay guys, well we were fortunate enough to actually have the owner and my good friend Vale from Valentina's Pizza here. So just gonna fire off some questions at you to tell the people a little bit more about this beautiful business you have here. So how long have you guys actually owned this place? So we've been here since August 2020, okay. almost three years, yeah. And you being the pizza artist that you are, I have my personal favorites that you make, but what is your favorite pizza? So my favorite pizza is the Bee's Knees, um, and it was a collaboration between my brother and I, we came up with the recipe together. Um, and so we use our fresh dough, we add pesto to the base, we add fresh mozzarella, goat cheese, pepperoni, and we use a special kind of pepperoni. It's like these little cups that get crispy and nice in the oven. Mm -hmm. And then we add our um, spicy honey that we make in-house on. It's the best, it's the most popular. That's actually my favorite one yeah, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to pick something else. They're all really good, but that one's, that one's the best one. Right on. Now, if anybody wants to get some of these beautiful pizzas, you're here Monday through Friday. What, what are the times you're actually here? We're here every day of the week. We don't move our truck. We serve the Lani Kai Brewing primarily. So we're here Monday through Friday from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. and then on weekends from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Right on. Yeah. Well, thanks so much, Vale. I really appreciate it. So again, if you guys want some killer pizza, come on down to Valentina's Pizza. It's right next to Lonnie Kai Brew, which we're actually gonna check out now and get a beer. Thank right. you so much, Vale. Enjoy your beer. Good to see you. Okay, guys, now after you've had some beautiful pizza or a sandwich over in Nalu, you might want to top it off with a nice beer. And out here in Kailua, we don't just have bars, we have a couple micro brews. You've got Maui Brewing and also Gracing Growlers, which is a really cool spot. But my favorite spot, if you want to get a pizza and a beer, is going to be Lani Kai Brewing. So let's go grab a beer and talk a little bit about the pros and cons of living out here in Kailua. So we are here at Lani Kai Brew, one of my favorite microbrews out here. We're here with John, and we're going to talk about one of the flagship beers you said, right? Yes, yeah, it's the Moku IPA. It was originally called the 808. Uh, it's one of our flagship originals. Um, it's been around since we opened up for seven years ago. Fantastic. And how many beers do you guys have on tap usually? Uh, we keep 12 on tap. Um, generally, we try to have at least four of our own, uh, up to about eight or nine. Right on. Well, I'm thirsty, so why don't we pour one of those beautiful yeah, beers and get after it? it. Yeah. Right on, John. All right, guys, now that we actually got a beer here, we're actually relaxed, so let's talk a little bit about the pros and cons of Kailua. Now, let's go over some of the pros. Well, obviously, you've got the beautiful beaches that we saw earlier today. You've got plenty of activities you can participate in, not just drinking, but actually paddling out to the Mokaluas, going surfing, diving, snorkeling, just so much it's hard to even name them all. Now, even though it does have pretty much all the amenities you need, it does maintain a small town feel, which uh, has the boutique shops, plenty of restaurants like we mentioned, and then a lot of microbreweries where you can actually enjoy a beer. Now those are just some of the pros. What are some of the cons? Well, one of the cons which we've seen while we're driving around, not just in Lani Kai, but other parts of Kailua is the tourist traffic. Now, like I mentioned before, it's definitely, it's a tourist attraction. This is a beautiful town to be in with the beautiful beaches, but with that comes some traffic. So don't be surprised if you're in bumper to bumper traffic to get to one of those beaches. Additionally, like I mentioned, you do have pretty much everything you need, but we don't have some of those big, big box stores. What I mean by that is we do have a Target, but we don't have a Walmart, we don't have a Costco. You're gonna have to drive to town for that or to Hawaii Kai, so just something to keep in mind. Another con is, I mean, it's a beautiful place to live, but 
the prices of homes can be a little pricey out here. The average median sales price for a home right now in Kailua is $1.4 million for a single family home. And for a condo, you're looking at about $700,000, $750,000 for a condo. So the prices aren't cheap, but you're paying to live in paradise and in one of the most desirable areas on the island. And another con would be the quality of homes. So to give you an example, if you go to like Kapole or Eva and you're looking to spend a million bucks, you're gonna get a home that was built in 2008, probably a luxury vinyl plank floors, fresh paint, it's gonna look perfect. But out here in Kailua, a million bucks might get you a sugar shack. I mean, that's being a little bit uh, over the top, but you're definitely gonna get less price per square foot and quality of home out here because you're paid for the location and the amenities that you get for Kailua than if you went to a different part of the island. So the quality of homes might not be as nice or the price per square foot's definitely gonna be a lot higher. Now let's go over the home construction or the type of homes you're gonna see out here in Kailua. Now, depending on which micro neighborhood you're in, whether you're in Coconut Grove or you're in Lani Kai or Kalahill Hillside, you're gonna get a different vibe, different types of construction, but generally they're gonna fall into a couple different categories. The first one would be those original style homes. Those are gonna be homes that were built in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. They're gonna have single wall, tongue and groove construction where it's not gonna have much insulation. They're probably gonna have window AC units or no AC whatsoever. They're gonna be on post and pier where they're actually pushed up and not a solid rock or concrete foundation. And additionally, they're gonna have jealousy windows, which brings in a lot of breeze, but doesn't really keep in the cold air if you do have an AC unit. Or you're on the complete opposite side of the spectrum where you have a brand new constructed home, double wall construction, it's got a garage, not a carport, and everything you could possibly think, but obviously you're gonna have to pay for that. And a lot of times you find something in the middle where they took a original constructed home and started adding some modern touches to it. So just something to keep in mind that you do have a slew of different types of homes out here, but generally, once again, the price per square foot of what you get out here in Kailua compared to different parts of the island are gonna be a bit more higher because you're paying for the location. Okay guys, well that pretty much wraps it up with our breakdown of Kailua. I live here, it's one of my favorite places to live and I'm definitely biased to it being one of my favorite spots on the island, but if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, put any of your questions in the comment section down below, or if you wanna talk real estate, talk about Kailua or any other part of the island, got my contact information down below or you can directly DM me on any of my social media platforms. But that being said, I got a beer to finish, so I'll see you guys soon, aloha.